Hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? This slight deviation from our normal service is about this, the Kit Vision Escape HD5 action camera that I got today. I'm trying to think of ways to improve my filming. And I've been eyeing up things like this for quite a while. And I posted up on a forum and somebody said that they had this one that they didn't want to, or would I like it? So for £15 posted, it turned up today. So we're going to try it out. It's not great. It's about the same specs as those camera glasses. And we all know how not very good they are. But we'll give it a go, because if, it, if, it, if I like it, if it works out, they do 4K ones for about 70 quid. I might be persuaded to buy one of those, but... We'll give it a go, we'll go slightly tech mode and have a look. I've had it out the box because I've been charging it. I think it's got enough charge on it to do certain stuff. So here's the case that makes it fit all the accessories. I've got the strap on it at the minute because I'm going to strap it to my head in a second and we'll see how it goes. And then in the box, which has all the stuff on it, gosh, she's a bit fit. Yeah, on the end, it's got some accessories, not all. You can buy cheap accessory packs for it. So we'll have to see if any of those are any use. But they're sticky pads, little Velcro mounts, stuff to stand it up on. That's a clamp, that could be cool. Ah, oh, there's the. I also bought a 32 gig SD card, which is in it. That's just the adapter for that. And another mount, and it should also screw to my tripod. Uh, which bit was it? This bit here unscrews. This is what it came with that box. Yeah, that bit unscrews and that will fit on my tripod. Which I haven't got today, so whoops. So I'm going to stop filming on my phone and, well, carry on on the camera really because I need to see if it's any good before I go and film something awesome. So. Here we are on the camera. I was about to strap it to my head using this, but then remembered that it kills the microphone. Because obviously it's full HD, so I would have to do a commentary. Which I will do in a minute, but we'll just see what it's like. And we do have something to unbox that also came today. Quite exciting, and it is relevant as well. Go. Also bought myself a book, which is here. You can see my phone for like the first time ever. I bought myself another service manual. I have the 1998 one now. Let's have a look just to see what the text is like on it. Just to get the quality of these has gone so downhill. What's it got? Pure power, turbo power three and two. A little bit on the older ones that it comes with. All my screen's turned off. What do I do? There we go. Power nozzle, wet backs, aqua jet, a slight bit, yeah, it's just, it, it's mainly washing machines and fridges. But that goes with the collection, so that's good. This is the exciting bit, for it is a fairly battered Miele S7 that I got from Dillis at Autovac. Thank you Dillis. She's used her bits from it. I've got my bits from it. Or will have my bits from it. I was going to hope we could turn it on but I don't think we can. Because these bits need to be plugged into the control panel which we don't have so I won't be firing it up today, but what it does have, and this is the main reason I bought it, I didn't actually buy it, I haven't paid for it yet, sorry did it, it doesn't stand up either, but I don't care about that, because first off it's got a decent tool, tool, decent filter cover, filter's still a bit grubby, but one win, two, the motor works. So we shall have the motor outside. The, the, the screen's gone again. And I don't know why I'm pointing it. Thirdly, 
it has what I think is a better brush roll. A much better brush roller. So that's nice. And probably some other spares. I can probably work out the wheels from this and whatnot. So yeah, I'm going to put this in the back of the car. And basically take the motor out of it and fit it into my one. And hopefully it will work. There's also a cable. Ooh. I don't think there are any tools for it, but it turns out there it is. There is a working one. Ha ah, lovely. So that's good then. It's got the missing catch that mine hasn't got. And is in much better condition overall. Woo so that's cool. Oh wonder. Oh a much better crevice tool. Excellent. So I have a few spares should I need them. But generally, I mean that's broken, I think. She definitely said that was broken. Which is fine. But I'll keep hold of them just until I'm sure I don't need them. And it'll be alright. So, thank you very much, Dennis. Highly recommend Autovac in Worcestershire if anybody is in need. So hopefully part three, because I'll, I'll sort of call this messing around with an action cam and part two of the Mila, will be it fitted. So, stay tuned for that. I've got to do a little bit of narration here because I had the camera in its case mounted to my head which killed all the sound so here I am talking about the fact that I have a camera strapped to my head and we're going to use this SIBO X1 just to check the quality really it works very well I have devised a way to do this without having to have the camera in its case because I don't really want to drill a hole for the microphone because then it would be waterproof so here we go I'll turn it on it doesn't go entirely to plan, which you can't see, because if you look in a second, it's going. Oh, look, the bag full lights come on. Which was a bit of a pain, but I, 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 we do find out what it is. So I'm talking all the way through this time. I'm having to make this up on the fly, really, to try and remember what I said whilst my son tries to put a duvet on top of me. So we'll have it open. And inside there is a till receipt, which clogged the entire thing up, so I don't show it, but I stop the camera, go find a screwdriver and push it through and get it out. So, camera on the head works, but it just needs to not be in its case so you can hear me. You can sort of hear background bangs, but not from me. Right, back to the normal video. <laughs> there we go one kit vision action cam at this current stage I don't know what the quality is going to be like I haven't watched it but it might be worth a try I did quite like mounting it on the SIBO so if all else might be able to add to some shots that way I just had it stuck on there it didn't leave a residue luckily I also found in the box a genuine Hoover Turbo Master Bellows. Thank you, Dennis. Don't know if you meant to send me those or not, but that might come in handy anyway. And we got the service manual, and of course the Mila, which I shall leave here for now. I'll probably take home tomorrow to get the motor out of it. And I'll need to post this out to Mr. Pneumatic Rules. Let's get that out and get the label on so I can drop it off at the co-op on the way home from work. So, thank you very much for watching this little random video. I'm no tech moan. Never will be. He's a master in his own league. He probably doesn't watch my channel anyway. I'll be honest. So, and I'm certainly not going to start doing tech. I can't afford that. 
all stick to our niche vacuums and I'll be the person that speaks through his nose as somebody commented on a video earlier. So thank you very much for watching and I shall see you soon. Bye bye.